Hey y'all. All right y'all, so I just left the library and I'm headed to um my PO box, okay? The PO box. <laughs> At the post office. So um but yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all, okay, so for people that, you know, might get bored, you may not, you know, have stuff that you, you know, like for housewives who kids, you know, might be, you can go ahead, sir. You can go ahead. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh-huh. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to let the guy in. Um, but yeah, I don't know if they still open. Oh, it's closed. They, I think they closed at three o'clock. Okay, y'all. Well, let me back up, show y'all. I was getting ready to make this stop at the P.O. box, Okay. To check on all the love mail. You know, I get so much love mail, okay, that I had to go and check it because it gets so full that they leave me messages talking about, uh, uh, miss, you going to need to stop at the, the counter because this box, okay, is not big enough for all of this love you be getting. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, y'all. No, but for real, though. You know, I was just playing, but no, I'm, I'm at the, um, the post office. I don't know if y'all can see that. Well, anyway, this is where I'm at. So, anyway, um, I took y'all in there before. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, like I was saying, so, if you're a housewife, you know, and your kids are in school all day, and after you did housework and got dinner prepped or whatever have you, you might want something to do, check out your local library, okay, because they have stuff going on. I'm getting ready to start a crocheting and knitting class. Um, it's free. It's a volunteer lady that's going to come and teach people how to uh, knit and crochet. So then the next, well, the class starts uh, November the 3rd at 1 o'clock. Um, and here's a little brochure. Because I saw something sitting in the library on the shelf where the books were. And it looked similar to this. Yeah, you are. You came out of there. And, um, yeah, knitting and crocheting uh, class that they're going to uh, be starting uh, November the 3rd, child. So I'm going to be in the house, okay? Um Morning. All right, y'all. So yeah, my post office uh, stop uh, was a fail. So I'm gonna go to my next stop. Um, well, let me just take you already along with me. I'm already still in the car, so let me pull on off, jail. Oh, this this is irritating. I don't know about y'all, but my seatbelt, I got it buckled, but I I, I I swings it around to the side because it is it's very irritating. But um, anyway um. So, yeah, um, if you, you know, if you get bored or, or you need something to do, if you want to learn certain things, the local library offers different things, um, you know, that you can attend and it's free. And like if you have kids and stuff, they have um, sometimes some libraries have night night time where you br you bring your kids in, you know, get them, give them their bath, put their little pajamas on and um, bring them to the library around seven o'clock and they'll read them a story. And then you can take them home. Oh, she looking at me. Mm, child, I don't want to have to get this woman together, honey. Because cause she looking at me real crazy, child. I don't mind you looking and being curious. But, child, please. Like, oh, they moving the car up, child. So they can see. Oh, I was going to turn the camera on and say hi. You're on Candid Camera. <laughs> Y'all remember that show, child? Mm, it's a time in the land. But anyway, yeah. I, uh, you know, because I will get you together, okay? But anyway, yeah. So, um... But yeah, like in the winter time, you might not want to give your kids a bath and, and, and bring them out like that. But maybe if, you know, you can bring them to the library around 7 o'clock, let them do the little story time, and then take them home. I think story time is only like a half an hour, so you can get back home. Oh, my papers is about to blow out the window, chair. Mm. Throw these windows out. Um, you know, come out at 7, let them read your child a little story time, let them run around a little bit, take them home, give them a bath, child, and put them in a bed, honey, child. And then you can have some mommy time, child. Yeah, so the library is just like a good spot, you know, to go to, to you know, they have calendars of things that they do um, for the whole month. And it's totally free. And um, stuff for adults and for children. They have little classes, you know, like I said, they got this crocheting and knitting class. Um, and I love knitting and crocheting, y'all. I told y'all I like older people. And one of my older friends that I used to have back in Baltimore when I lived in Baltimore years ago. I I, I, have, I lived in Baltimore recently, but I'm talking about years ago. Um, when I used to live on uh, 21st Street in Baltimore City on the east side. East side. <laughs> 
whole damn ghetto jail. But anyway, yeah, I used to live on the east side on 21st Street, right off of um, Green Mount Avenue. And my babysitter lived two doors down the street from me. Her name was Miss Batty. Hey, Miss Batty, rest your soul, child. That was my boo. But anyway, she was an older lady. Like, I think Miss Batty had to be in her 60s at the time. And at that time, I was only in my 20s. But she was my babysitter. And, um... And she used to, to crochet and knit. And she had, you know, she used to teach me. I used to sit there and we would talk and we would order pizza. And we would, you know, she would show me how to crochet. And at the time, I only knew how to do like a line. But I didn't, you know, like keep up with it to learn it and know it really well. But um, that's why I like old people. I love stuff like that. I like sitting down and chitter-chatting and knitting and eating and, you know, snacking and just, you know, no drama and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, I'm going to take up a knitting and crocheting class, child. I've been wanting to learn that forever. And I want to I want to learn a foreign language, too. That's just one of my things I want to do, too, child. I want to learn a foreign language so bad. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't show y'all that I was at the, uh, the laundromat. Um... Can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see, child. This is my laundry mat, child. It's a clean little spot, too. Let me take y'all in there real quick. But, yeah, my washing machine um, went up on me. And, um, you know, things happen, child. But uh, we just keep it moving, child. You just keep it pushing, okay? And um, do what you got to do. But let me show y'all how clean my spot is, child. Well, I got to come to wash my, my stuff, child. This is the, the laundry mat, y'all, where that lady had washed six loads of clothes and had eight left to go, child. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to show y'all this foolishness. Lock my car, child. I want nobody to go in there and steal all the dirty clothes. But yeah, y'all, look. It's a clean little spot, y'all. See? It's got a little bathroom and stuff, y'all. Yeah. I like clean places now. Because, I mean, I haven't had to go to the laundry in, like, years. All right, I'm going to come in the bathroom and talk to y'all for a minute. But, yeah, I haven't had to go to the laundry in years, child. I mean... I, recently I came because I had those big old comforters and, and stuff for the winter that I wanted to get washed up. Um, but, um, I don't like that mold. Well, anyway, um, oh, that's an ant. Okay, I saw something crawl. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's an ant. All right, anyway, um, because I'm scared. I like animals and stuff, and I like looking at stuff in cages and stuff, but in person, like, I'm scared of stuff. <laughs> Even my little tiny Tim. I'm scared of tiny Tim. You know what he is, child? I'm scared of him. But anywho, yeah, what was I talking about, y'all? Yeah, so, um, so, but, but right, prior to me coming to bring those big comforters, I haven't been to the laundry for years, child. And I'm real funny about stuff like that where I got to put the seat of my panties at, okay? And the rotator and stuff. So, you know, I like a clean spot. I'm glad that this is a clean laundry. All right, let me come out the bed first. All right, y'all, I got to go, okay? Hi. I think it was just gutter guy. All right, y'all. So let me go, chair. Oh, that sun is making me gorgeous, honey, chair. And the girl, what's her name? Shea Kerr. She said on her video, hi, Shea Kerr, girl. She said, the sun shines on everybody. The sun shines bright on everybody. And I thought that was, like, profound. Because it does. It doesn't matter whether you're a good person, a bad person, or whatever. It's going to shine. And if you bring your behinds outside, child, and get some air, it, it will. You can be in your house and sit at your window. And it will shine, child. All right, y'all, let me get, get, get my stuff. There's people looking at me and stuff, child. And I don't want to have to get, 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 get nobody together out here, child, because I will. Okay, all right. Bye, y'all. Mm.